Hello plant people, I'm really excited about today's video because we're going to talk about something important, when to move your plants to a bigger pot. And guess what? We'll be doing just that with my beautiful Calathea Orbifolia. I'll explain why my Orbifolia needs a new pot and as I give her a new home, I'll show you four signs that tell you when your plant needs a bigger pot. Make sure to watch the whole video for all the helpful tips. And if you're growing your plant in Lekka, watch out for the bonus tip at the end. Before we get into the signs that show your plant needs a new pot, let's talk about why repotting matters. Just like us, plants need room to grow and be healthy. And as time goes on, their roots outgrow their current pots, which means they don't get enough nutrients and can't grow properly. Repotting gives them a fresh start by providing more space and nutrients in a larger pot. It helps them spread their roots and thrive better. This is true whether you're growing your plants in soil or you're growing your plants in lecker. Keep in mind that the signs a plant needs repotting may vary depending on the plant species, but here are some common indicators. Like my Calathea, if your plant isn't growing or its leaves are turning yellow, even though you're taking good care of it, it might need more nutrients. Repotting helps by giving your plant fresh soil or fresh lecker. This encourages and promotes root health, which encourages overall healthy plant growth. My Calathea has been growing very well, constantly giving me new leaves and looking very healthy. In the last few weeks, however, I have noticed fewer new leaves and yellowing of the leaves. This tells me that she needs a repot. That is my Calathea orbifolia living in a 20 centimeter pot and that is what that looks like. And oh, I need to be really, really careful so I don't damage those leaves. So just putting that down really carefully and oh gosh. So this is my Calathea on its side here and that lecker is really packed in there. And when I touch the base of this pot, you can actually see that the pot is a little bit split there at the bottom and there are roots everywhere. So I am going to try to take that lecker out. Oh my goodness. I don't think this is possible. I might have to break this pot. I got a pair of scissors and I'm just going to have to cut through this pot because I cannot actually take this plant out. It is that root bound. And oh. Okay, here we go. Ooh. That is my pot. I could not have pulled that out. Take a look at those roots. That is a very root bound Calathea or Bifolia. It's completely taken the shape of the pot and it is just Oh, insane. If you notice roots circling around the edges of the pot or growing out of the drainage holes, especially if your plant is growing in soil, it's a clear sign that your plant needs more room. Give it a spacious new home to prevent stunted growth. This might not apply for plants in Lekka and I will discuss this as a bonus tip at the end of the video. If you're finding this video helpful, please show your support by liking and subscribing to my channel. I'm gonna take this plant, give it a wash and remove any dead and dying roots. I have given my plant a wash and that's what it looks like now. So those roots are still very intact. I have not dismantled the roots from the lecker. I'm just going to leave that. So all those roots are actually viable. I hosed it down as you saw, so that's all good. What I will do is take out some of these. These are, 
I mean, this is dead. It's not going to contribute anything. So anything that I can obviously find that needs removing, I'll take that off. Does your plant require frequent watering? Is your plant always thirsty? When you water it, does the water just flow through the pot without being soaked up? This might mean that the roots are tightly packed and unable to absorb the water properly. Repotting can solve this problem by improving water absorption and keeping your plant well hydrated. If your plants are grown in Lekka or semi hydra systems and you find yourself frequently refilling the reservoir, it could be a clear indication that your plant needs to be repotted. So let's get back to my Calathea. My plant was living in a 20 centimeter pot and I'm going to put it in this 30.5 centimeter pot. Not too big of a jump and perfectly fine for a plant living in Lekka. When repotting your plant, make sure to go only one or two pot sizes up, especially if you have your plant living in soil, as a bigger pot might eventually lead to root rot for a plant that doesn't need it. In addition to the 30 centimeter nursery pot that I'm going to put my plant up in, I've got this really huge cash pot. It doesn't have a hole at the bottom. And this is the pot that's going to actually house my nutrient solution. And this 30 centimeter pot fits perfectly in that and I'm really really happy with the sizing of that. My Calathea is going to look absolutely gorgeous in this setup. So now I have to put the plant in the pot. I have a lot of lecker that has been washed and pre-soaked in my Clonix clone solution so really ready to take that plant to the next level. Now I need to fill up my pot. So I'm filling this pot about a third of the way up. So that is about a third there. And the lecker will come out of the bottom. The holes at the bottom are a bit large, but mm, what can I do? And then I put my plant right there at the top and that fits really, really nicely. And all I do now is fill that pot up with the clean lecker. is my plant all potted up in its new 30 centimeter pot and it's got some lovely clean lecker surrounding it and I bet it feels as good as it feels when you've just been done taking a lovely hot shower. If your plant is constantly wilting, even with adequate watering, it might be a sign that the root system is overcrowded and can no longer support the plant's water needs. So you might definitely need to repot it. My stunning Calathea orbifolia definitely deserved a larger home. And the next thing that I'm going to do at this stage is just cut off those leaves that are looking yellow and just aren't looking the best to give this plant just a lovely new look. Don't be shy to cut off some of these leaves. Some of these leaves are really, really old and were really on their way out. So there's no harm in actually cutting them off and allowing the plant to focus all its energies on new growth and regeneration. And voila, my Calathea orbifolia is now in its new home, ready to thrive and bring joy to my space. Remember, the process of repotting may differ slightly for different plant species, but the general principles remain the same. Don't get too big of a pot. One or two pot sizes up is really all you need. I want to show you what my plant is going to look like in its gorgeous cash pot. So just uh, big muscles. Uh. That is pretty, pretty heavy, I have to say. But I love that look. I know you can't see me, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, there we go. 
That is my Calathea Orbifolia living in its new pot. I love this. I absolutely love this. I'm going to fill up this pot with a nutrient solution just to the level where um, that nursery pot goes. So I don't want my roots to be completely submerged in that. And I think this plant is going to be very happy. Come next summer, she's going to be bigger and bigger and bigger. Before we wrap up today's video, I want to take a moment to remind you to hit that subscribe button and join our lovely plant community. And by subscribing, you will never miss out on any of my upcoming videos. And we will continue to explore the fascinating world of plants, share care tips and showcase some gorgeous, gorgeous plants. And of course, before I go, I'm going to hit you up with that bonus tips for those of you growing your plants in Lekka. If you're growing your plants in Lekka, just because you see your root coming out of the pot does not mean that the plant actually needs a repot. These roots that are growing in that nutrient solution, like the roots of my Syngonium ormnac, are, for lack of a better term, water roots. They are quite happy to grow in that medium. And as you can see, when I tug at those roots, there's actually nothing coming off those roots are used to living there. So just because you see the roots coming out, if your plant is growing in semi-hydro, that doesn't mean you need to do anything. Leave them alone and your plant will be just fine. Now watch this next video where I show you how you can take care of a Calathea orbifolia and get yours to look like this. I'll see you there.